Hey everyone, this is Jared M. I'm gonna do another quick reaction. Uh, this was actually requested quite a few times over the last few months. Uh, and I finally just said, you know what, let me go ahead and react to this and see what this is like. A lot of you mentioned Avi Kaplan, his uh, his ability to do overtone singing. Now I've heard it, I've heard him doing it in, in the songs, like even on the Sing Off, he did it in the very first song, he did it in several songs actually. Uh, and it's always a great addition. Uh, and I don't think a lot of you know, knew that I had noticed it because I wasn't really pointing it out. Uh, and that's kind of on me because there were so many other great things all the time. I was worried about time. So I, I, I think sometimes I just would say stuff and then I'd forget to say the other part. Uh, but I did hear it. And the other thing too is um, I'm very familiar with overtone singing. I actually have done it. I've done it with groups, uh, with a choir, with uh, different vocal groups and where we'd all do it together. and we'd. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a very cool technique and I'm looking forward to hearing kind of him doing it. I think it's by himself. He's doing the, the lion sleeps tonight. That'll be cool. So let me get my headphones on. If you do like the video, please consider subscribing and also let me know other videos that you want me to see. And uh, without further delay, here we go. Okay, well, let me toss it out. I'm gonna talk about this sexy man over here. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so Avi and I met through a mutual friend, and he lived in the LA area, so we just met for coffee. And I knew that he was going to be in the group the second he introduced himself, because he was like, Hi, I'm Avi. <laughs> 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 and I was like, well, the ground is shaking, and I think that's an indicator that we should be <laughs> But now he's a great musician, and when we were first arranging E.T., actually that's something to say, um, he was like, I can do this thing where I sing two notes at once. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, that's really cool. He can. He can. So every show, I insist that he does it for you guys. So I'll be kept on him. Nice. Okay. You guys are very, very nice, first of all. He's all talking about. <laughs> so before we came to LA, everyone was like, Watch out for all day, there could be a bad crowd. And I was like, okay, cool. But you guys are awesome. And so is Austin. So this is very good. Thank you guys for having us. It's such an honor to sing for such amazing, beautiful people. So thank you. I love you, Bobby. I love you as well. <laughs> okay. So, I did overtone singing on the last tour, but I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. I'm going to do a song you guys know, The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Ooh. But when you're listening, the crowd listen, don't listen to what I'm singing. <laughs> listen to the Mariah Carey whistle tone that you'll hear about it. Okay? <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. It's challenging. It takes a good ear. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a good sign. Then you can get a crowd reaction like that. Absolutely. I'm gonna say that a lot Yeah. Um. Pretty much. That's. That's overtone. That's overtone singing, y'all. Um, he does it very well. Um, yeah, it's like, it took a long time for me to get it right. You know, it, there were some hard, there's some hard things that you, you gotta do in order, to, first of all, it's breath control. You gotta be able to have the breath control to maintain that solid, steady flow of air uh, and creating that tone, that, that sound. Uh, and it's almost always the same for some reason when you want to do overtone singing You got to find this resonant area in your vocal and then it creates your, your the way you kind of 
it's hard to explain. Uh, but the way you kind of create the, the space and, and shape it, uh, it, it allows you to modulate the tone uh, that's in the overtone. And, uh, and so he was able to do it and really put together a melody. And, and you'll notice that it's, it's hard to do the precise melody. And that's because it's the harmonics of it. It's, a, it's, it's not a typical standard scale. You know, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. It's not like that. Uh, and it's hard to get, yeah, it's just, it's mainly um, whole note scales. But it's, uh, man, that was really good. And it's so clean, you know, it, it, and the fact that he's he's able to pinpoint the note consistently shows he, he practices that a lot. So, uh, like I said, I've done it quite a bit. Um, I haven't done it in a while, but um, it's a fun thing. You should try it. You should try it sometime. Just <laughs> if you if you're a singer and you want to you want to try that out, try it. Just like do do what he does. Kind of find that tone in your voice. That <laughs> usually it's like around the B. Uh, it could be a low B, a B minor. It's like on a minor scale kind of thing. Uh, which, whichever key, B, C. Uh, find find that in your tone. Hum it out there and leave some space in your mouth. Breath control, and then try and see if you can hear. An, an overtone just try modulating the, the the shape of your mouth a little bit like doing an o a e kind of sound but maintain that you know like that uh and see what you can do and let me know in the comments if you're able to hear an overtone it doesn't have to be perfect but try it out and uh we'll see you we'll see <laughs> anyway thank you guys for that request that was really cool uh if there are other videos of him doing overtones let me know and i want to go check those out as well uh, similar to that like if there's another one similar to that where it's just him kind of nailing it like that. Um, in other words, we'll see you next video. Bye.